Yo, Leave the World Behind is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in life. Look, I was recommended. I wanted to find a good movie to watch. So I went on YouTube and ty typed in the top movies on Netflix. And Leave the World Behind was one of them. So I said, okay, I'm going to check it out. Watched it. So the first half of the movie, it was slow. I, I don't. I really don't care for slow movies. If you're going to give me a slow movie, you got to you got to reward me in the middle half. If the first half if the first half is slow, you got you got to give me a reward, bro, for going for just having the patience to sit through this. I hate slow movies, bro. I like I hate slow movies. But like I said, because a lot of times the reason why I hate slow movies because I end up wasting my time. Because the suspense is not worth the slowness of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing with this movie. It started off slow. It was kind of intriguing. I ain't going to lie. It was intriguing. It was slow. But I was waiting for that build up to happen. You know what I mean? So, it was slow in the beginning, you know, this suburban couple, Caucasian couple, with two kids, they go off on a vacation, go live in a vacation home, everything's hunky-dory, the, 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 one of the kids is a little weird, you know, a little funny looking, a little weird, the girl. Okay, and then you notice something's something's not right in the movie. By the way, the car the, the 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 actors are acting with suspense. You know what I'm saying? The girl sees deer. She's just staring at deer, not saying anything. It's stupid. That's already. I mean, it got to the point with deer, bro. Deer. It's just that's stupid right there. That concept. Staring at some damn deer. I don't want to see no damn deer. Bunch of deers. That's all. All right. You get a red flag. That was a, a strike right there. And then this black couple shows up in the middle of the night talking about it's their house. And the man, the black man with his daughter. And then, you know, that's suspense. You know, you're keeping me, it's slow, but you're keeping me intrigued to see where it's going. Okay, it went somewhere. It went somewhere where the, the, the world is being cyber attacked. But that's the big climate. Okay, we we being cyber attacked. But after that, nothing, re nothing really suspenseful happens. And I'm... Now I find myself fast forwarding this shit to see if I'm going to get paid off for watching this. Because sometimes, I, I mean, are the couples going to attack each other? Or, or, you know, are they scammers? Are the black couples, are, are the black guy and his daughter some scammers? Like what? But it goes nowhere. And so I end up fast forwarding and moving. And I, so I end up fast forwarding to see, just to see where this movie going to go. It goes nowhere, man. It really goes nowhere. I, it gets to the point where I'm losing patience watching this. Because I, I see nothing that's keeping me here. And I I, I, I want to get up and walk away. If I was in the movie theater, I would have got up and just walked out. Nothing was keeping me sustained. Watching this. Nothing was keeping my attention watching this. The characters were so slow. I just had to fast forward. Like, where where are we going? I hate a movie that don't that I don't have a feeling of, of where where this is going. And I didn't know where this was going, so I had to fast forward it. 
And now when I fast forward it, I just see that it ain't go. It it didn't never go nowhere. It didn't really never go nowhere. So I I couldn't watch it. So the movie is called Leave the World Behind. Well, I wanted to leave the world behind after watching this movie. Because it's straight up doo-doo. Straight up trash. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer, but uh, I hate movies like this that waste my time. Don't waste my time with these weird movies. Give me something. Give me something great. Give me something intriguing. Give me something suspenseful. Give me something drama filled. Give me something exciting. And you gave me nothing of the sort. Top A list actors. Terrible movie. It's a sh- and that's another reason why I gave this movie a chance because it has some A list actors in it Julia Roberts. The guy from Train Today, the white guy from Train, I don't know his name. The guy, white guy from Train Today. Oh, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, Kevin Bacon, Julia Roberts, Ethan Hawke. You got some good name. You got and you got that fine little daughter chick. I forgot her name. I don't know her name. Well, maybe it's Melissa Ali. No, I don't know. I don't know. Mahila. I don't know. Maybe that's her name. Fine little 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 light skinned chick. Mahala, yeah, that's her name, Mahala. Mahala Harold. The sexy little thing. Look like I done seen her around somewhere. Maybe YouTube or something. I don't know. Oh, another movie. Maybe I've seen her in other movies. Hot little chick. But Yeah, movie trash. And I thought it would have been a lot better. But anyway, I give Lead the World Behind a, a one. Peace.